Hearts of Iron 4, Millennium Dawn mod or the Modern Day mod. So today we'll be looking at Hearts of Iron 4, Millennium Dawn mod and this mod is focused on the modern day at the modern time. So we have uh, two start dates in this mod or two scenarios. We have 1st of January 2000 and 1st of January 2017. So uh, the first one is Millennium Dawn, basically 2000. Yep. And then 2017, which is the world today, or we're living right now in 2020, but still, it's 2017, you can start from there. So, we'll be looking at the mod, and we'll be reviewing it, and checking it out, and checking its features. I'll be giving you my opinions, and I'll be commenting on what's wrong, what's right, in my opinion, and what should be fixed in this mod, and be giving my ideas, and points of view to the developers of this mod so here we are in the scenario we can see all kinds of leaders uh, of the Millennium Dawn I guess or the year 2000 we can we can see Tony Blair here leading the UK Vladimir Putin leading Russia Bill Clinton and so on so yeah let's let's take a look there's there's a lot of ideologies as we can see the parties are very well described emerging outlook United Russia uh, U.S. Democratic Party, Western Outlook, they're very well explained and we can see there's some some things like NATO member and yeah there's a lot of spirit, permanent member of the UN Security Council so UN exists in this mod and there's many other countries as we can see here. So let's take a look at the world map. Alright, this is interesting, we have a lot of new colors. Uh, if you look at the base game, there's not so many colors, I guess, or not that many countries. We have a lot of new colors and a lot of new countries everywhere around the world, from Africa to Europe to Asia. Everywhere we have new nations, we can see Iceland, Denmark, you know, stuff like Africa being, parts of Africa being independent or countries in Africa being independent and yeah, no, no more colonies, I guess. and. Yeah, this is very interesting. Let's pick a random country here. For example, Germany and start it off as them and take a look at all the menus. Okay, hacking the Pentagon. Yeah, this game has, or this mod has a lot of beautiful um, loading screens and like quotes and so on. So, all right, we start off as Germany. We have some special division icons we can see. There's a lot of equipment we need to produce to make these divisions. Alright, so, um, new things in this mod, yup, especially different things like armored infantry, heavy engineer battalions, all kinds of artillery, there's a shit ton of things you can make here to make different types of divisions and templates. Alright, so the templates are new, the division designer has like a, a lot of new templates you can make and a lot of different symbols production yeah in production this is one of the biggest parts of this mod production you can produce all the modern equipment from helicopters to rocket launchers to infantry equipment to all kinds of stuff here we can see different tanks artilleries uh self-propelled art artillery guns aa guns um helicopters planes, jets, bombers, patrol planes, I guess drones, so there's a lot of things in the production. I know this can work for um, some bigger nations, you can produce all of the stuff you need, for example, for this division you might need a ton of different equipment, right? Let's see, for this division, yeah, you need to produce all of this, but if you're playing as some small country, let me pick, like Macedonia, I doubt you have the military factory, yeah, you didn't even start with a military factory to produce all of that, so it might be a bit difficult making some crazy divisions as those smaller nations, so they have some disadvantages, they have to go with like basic infantry divisions, I would say, with nothing else than infantry equipment and maybe some support equipment or so. Um, so, now let's take a look at the construction tab. In the construction tab we can make biofuel, right? Biofuel, what does this actually give us? This building takes organic matter such as energy crops and wood and converts it to fuel. Alright, so we can make fuel um, out of crops and different things, so that's something new. 
we hadn't have before. There's Sam Sites mobile radio post. It's been renamed. Sam Site, I guess. Uh, nice. All right, we can build some things. Okay, in the construction tab, we don't have as many things as in some other mods, but there's still something new. The biggest thing, of course, probably here is the research slot and this tab, which is insane. But now we'll look into trade. Okay, trade looks pretty basic. Uh, doesn't look like there's any new resources to be honest. Maybe there's even resources deleted from the game. Well, let me look at the resource ma map. Resource map. I think it's uh, which button is it? I think there's a button for here, like F7, um, F5, F4, F2, F1. Let's take a look. It should be somewhere around here. I've actually, yeah, right. Resource map. Okay, resource map. Oh uh, yeah, it looks like rubber has been absolutely deleted from this mod, so there isn't any rubber in the mod, and maybe some other resource, I see aluminium, I see steel, I see tungsten, I see oil, but something chromium is missing completely, so they've deleted chromium out of the game, and they've <clears throat> also deleted rubber out of the game to make it, I guess, more simple and easier to produce stuff. Okay, that's interesting. Diplomacy. Alright, diplomacy might be pretty important here. Um, we'll check that later. We'll check research first. So in the research slot, we have technology all the way here in the infantry tab to 2035. As we can see, we have all kinds of rifles, night visions, new equipment. Uh, what are these? Camouflages. <clears throat> here we can see we can have new tanks research so you can really work around and make like main battle tanks armor personnel carriers infantry fighting vehicles utility vehicles it's all up to you up to your military tactic and i bet there's some some you know op ways to create some stuff maybe just make a million infantry fighting vehicles and move to some country to like very fast all right let's see artillery okay there's an artillery tab which looks pretty interesting land doctrine holy shit this expands to the right and the left all right that's interesting new ships of course carriers and all kinds of stuff the ship tab isn't very impressive while the carrier tab is almost the same size as the main battleship or the <coughs> nuclear battle cruiser tab all right oh yeah there's there's actually more more to it yeah it's pretty impressive pretty nice i wonder what do the nuclear submarines uh do like how how are they different from the normal ones they probably are more effective in some way but yeah then we have the helicopters here fighter wing assault planes and bomber aircraft so a lot of planes as we can see a ton of planes um that's cool i guess you can figure out tactics how to uh, support your troops on ground and take the air superiority. There's two air doctrines. Engineering looks pretty interesting with some background pictures. Improved computing machines, industrial technologies. Here you can increase your monthly population. If you're playing as a small country, probably like Jimio and Gene, yeah, technology. And increase the amount of people born in your country, so that's pretty cool, I guess. And there's some different technologies that improve your industry okay research tab very impressive in my opinion very cool very nice um now we could take a look at national focuses oh my god germany has a huge focus and there's the eu policies i think every eu member country has a eu policy under it let's take let's take uh, poland for example yeah there's a eu policy tab or eu candidate tab under here so you members can do something cool yes germany can probably unite the eu but yeah the the focus for germany looks big overall let's take a look at russia russia has a huge focus also let's take a look at italy italy absolutely huge focus too france oh my god crazy focus uk Okay, UK. Oh, yeah, it's big also. Let me take a look at Finland, for example. Okay, I think... Wow, whoa, whoa, Finland has a special focus too. So, yeah, Greater Finland claimed the borders of 1938. So, not only majors have focuses. Also, some minors might have focuses. 
in the game. Let's take a look at the United States. They for sure must have a big focus and yeah, it's absolutely huge. The US focus is insane. So uh, the focuses are absolutely beautiful in my opinion or at least the focus trees. They look very cool. They are very big in sizes. They have different ways of going whatever ideology I guess and claiming whatever around you so the focus is, is a big W for this mod the research lot is a big W I didn't know about the production and the division designer it might be difficult for smaller countries as I'm saying but for big nations it's it's cool you can produce the fuck out of everything but yeah you can't expect to produce crazy amount of planes and tanks and all that and make crazy templates as a small country uh, diplomacy looks pretty simple um, national spirits a lot of national spirits per country so that's very well done very well done from the developers very cool yup and they're pretty accurate there's the UNCS and like all the UN things and all the spirits so that's cool but there's a new tab added to the mod not a long ago which uh, shows the influence foreign influence of countries on you so here for example germany has uh, france influencing it five percent russia five percent us four percent france probably because of all of the eu things steel trade all that russia five percent because of the uh, maybe russian population four million about in germany the um russian and the german gas deals or the pipelines and energy deals and some company investments us nato and other you know relation things and so on alliance you know that so i don't know if it's completely accurate in this mod but there's the influence thing and if you gain enough influence you can uh you can do something to a nation i'm pretty sure yeah you can give economic aid to raise your influence you can attempt a coup you can exploit their economy you can manipulate their politics and turn them into a puppet after you gain enough influence by i guess uh aiding them and influencing them with your political power and so on so this thing pretty cool pretty cool but i think it it's it takes a lot of time a lot of people have said it takes a lot of time i've tried myself it takes a ton of time to influence a nation so it, it might be kind of difficult sorry for that alert okay so uh now we're gonna take a look at the political tab so here we can change our economy we we have this tab here we have debt we have treasury and we also have the international investment so here you can uh focus on your economy and you can change a lot of things but a lot of these things require a lot of political power okay at least germany is gaining like a lot of political power but i still think like 1000 political power for this stuff is way too much they should increase either the amount of political power you're gaining or uh decrease the cost of these things because this costs a lot this costs a lot to change like all of these laws even though you might start with a lot of political power or you're gaining it but there's so many things you need to change before you can go to war with somebody so i don't know this thing you really need to drop these numbers down because it's too much weight for any gamer i know it might be realistic but this is a game after all this is a game after all the party system very beautiful like there's so many different parties you can boost their popularities the elections the election system the event system is very nice in the mod but yeah the party system pretty cool pretty cool but still i think it's kind of hard to influence a country or change uh, stuff in your country like it takes a lot of time and invading a country that's something whole different stuff in this mod invading a country might take about like three years or at least two years to invade a nation so i think they should really really like focus on uh, the justify war goal time is i think about 300 days per country or maybe even more at some time so i think they should decrease the justify war goal time 
if uh, any of the developers are watching this maybe you should consider that I know it might be realistic you need Intel you need this you need that you need war plans you need to prepare you need to go through certain political stuff but still I think you should decrease the time of justifying a war goal on nations since this is a game after all and people want to have fun expand and take over countries and in multiplayer nobody wants to wait three years to attack a single nation people want to go straight into the fucking war or into battle expand their country make an empire you know so i think they should they should take a look at that uh the decisions very cool in my opinion except sometimes the EU tab might be full of spam since you might get a lot of EU decisions and so on if you're in the EU do you want to do this this law what's your opinion on that it's cool it's cool but I wish there is a way to disable it maybe there is but like sometimes it's very very spammy uh, a lot of decisions I couldn't say this is like cool this is very nice from them making so many decisions you can recognize countries help their independence you know help them out so it's very beautiful the mapping in this mod they included a lot of civil war territories and a lot of rebels and so on that's cool how they made it so accurate not only the countries but also some of the war regions and like unrecognized territories that's very nice how they made it so accurate so Overall, I think uh, there's a few things need to be improved. Um, maybe in the industry tab, okay, that can stay, but at least the justification that needs to be fixed. The justification war time or war goal time is way too long. Changing your popularity in your party might be a bit difficult, and some of the things here are a bit expensive uh, in the political tab with your political power are a bit expensive so that needs to be fixed for sure so the things i'm trying to say this mod is very good very beautiful very nice very fun you'll find a uh, link in the description but i don't really recommend playing this mod in multiplayer because that's gonna take you so much time i doubt anyone plays this mod like anyone who has the right mind doesn't play this mod in multiplayer since it's taking so much time to complete things and invade countries it takes days or, or probably fucking 10 hours to restore the soviet union or take some more territories or i don't know unite the eu and stuff like that or take over africa so for single player this mod yeah it's cool it's cool you can go five speed you can you can rush stuff but like multiplayer i do not recommend it but single player go test it out it's very nice um what would i give it to this mod if i could uh give it a number uh, judging on all the stuff in the mod how well it's done map wise and how well it's done research wise and the picture wise and you know all the text wise the focus wise uh compared to some of the problems it has i think i'd give it like eight and a half out of ten if they fix the issues like the justification and some of the political stuff i'd give it probably a nine or even more but i'm gonna give it eight and a half for now so yeah millennium dump modern day mod go check it out links in the description thanks everybody for watching don't forget to like and subscribe and also join our discord server if you're new around here all right guys i'll catch you in the next live stream or a video bye bye everybody bye bye